So I just got back from seeing the Sonic the Hedgehog movie for the second time, and now that I have seen it twice and everything's kind of fresh in my brain, I figured now would be a good time to just record myself rambling about the movie, overlay to some footage of me drawing the movie version of Sonic, because that's been something I've been doing for a while, and I figure this is kind of a good, fun little thing that you do every now and again on the channel. Uh, just, uh, I guess we'll start with the things I dislike and then the things I like, but just real quick overall thoughts, it was good, it's not kind of my ideal version of what a Sonic the Hedgehog movie could be, but, you know, that's kind of a deeply personal thing. I think it's a really good Sonic the Hedgehog movie for this generation of kids. I liked it a decent amount, it wasn't perfect, but there was a lot to like about it. So starting with things I didn't particularly care for, um, again, I guess the best place to start is, like, tone. Uh, like I had said, this isn't exactly my ideal version of a Sonic movie, but this is, that's more personal than anything. I found at moments, even for, I think, the audience it was shooting for, which is, like, little kids, it was a little bit too immature. Like, like, not too often. It wasn't like I was sitting there most of the time just face palming or feeling embarrassed for the intelligence of the children that they were shooting for, but every now and again there'd be a kind of immature joke that they would throw in there where it's like, I, I, I don't know why they threw that in there, it feels out of place for the rest of the movie. Uh, not, not that it, like, it needed to be super serious or anything, but I still feel like that every now and again there were a few intended audience, like I said, for the kids, was a bit too juvenile. Um, another issue I kind of had was pacing. Uh, it, it didn't feel quite as bad as, like, because I'd seen Detective Pikachu, and one of my issues with it was it felt like there were chunks of the movie missing. Uh, here it feels less like there's that, and more like in their attempts to try and keep a brisk pace, and obvious reasons it's Sonic the Hedgehog. I think they may have done it a bit too well, I guess, as sometimes it feels like that movie, that uh, the movie kind of jumps all over the place, like scenes just kind of like stop, or they could have spent a bit more time on that, or they could have given a bit more time to this character, that sort of thing, and uh, not, like, it just it just makes the movie feel a little bit too brisk for its own good at times for a Sonic movie, so it's a little bit hard to absorb everything in certain scenes and whatnot, like uh, there was this bit where Sonic And it's, it, it all happens very quickly and very oddly, and I, I, I didn't really like the writing in that scene, even though it's like a really good action scene, I don't know what was going on there, but it's just, I, I felt like, it felt kind of unbalanced and weird in comparison to the media to what I think they were trying to go for, I think it was just a little bit too fast-paced for good, but it felt like they just, okay, well here's the scene where they get upset at each other, and here's the scene where they do this, here's the scene where they do that. And uh, because it doesn't allow itself to breathe, um, I, I feel like it's a little bit flimsy sometimes. Um, and while we're kind of on that, uh, I guess the plot wasn't, like, the actual plot wasn't fantastic either. Um, like, it was serviceable, it was fine, it's, it's just, it's just kind of Sonic Go Home is basically the plot. It's just Sonic, he needs to get home, Robotnik doesn't want him to go home because he wants to study him. bad things to him, it's it's just, it, there isn't really much going on, there isn't like this great big world is at stake plan or anything, it's just Sonic and Tom, and I guess by extension later on, the, uh, the wife whose name I've already forgotten are uh, in, just in danger, and the bombing is just uh, um, I, I guess, well I guess the race that stakes a bit, there is like the comical amount of collateral damage that bombing causes. But just in general, the actual story is great. You know, they just need to get to San Francisco so that Sonic can go... Well, not home, but, like, he can leave so he can be safe. It's very simple, and, uh, there isn't, like, there isn't really a lot to parse from it. And I guess that's a little bit disappointing. Um, it's, it's not a huge deal, though, it's a Uh, frankly, I actually found what was most annoying about the movie was, uh, Sonic's quipping. Actually, well, Sonic is a mostly charming character, a bit dorky for my tastes for this character. Cause, like, in universe, Sonic is just legitimately supposed to be that cool, but here it's very, it's a 
very self-aware version of his character, where he's kind of adored, and he's uh, not very well, he's not like all that well coordinated. Uh, he, he, he's dorky. He's, 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 he's a dork. <laughs> it's just the way to put it. Um, but, but like again, he, it's, it's not my ideal version of character, but he's mostly likable. But I felt like at times his quipping got a bit like too much, a little bit excessive. Um, and sometimes during the more tense scenes, uh, he would, like, say something that kind of, like, would take me out of it. Like, there's a scene where he's, like, hiding, he's like, well, I hope they don't x-ray scan me. I had kind of an embarrassing lunch, and it doesn't even feel like that would felt like, it definitely felt like, felt like they shot the scene. They're like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if we added in this? And, uh, it kind of took me out of it. Again, I, I recognize this is meant to be a, a fairly lighthearted, like, kid but it just it got a bit too much. because that's kind of like the least thing. It's pretty okay. Uh, Robotnik's new theme is cool. It has kind of shades of Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, but it's still like more serious. And it also kind of sort of reminds me of like Eggman's theme from like Sonic 06, so I thought that was cool. Uh, the licensed music that they pick is um, actually pretty okay. There's no Gangster's Paradise. I suppose that is a spoiler, but like it's not like a story spoiler, but whoever, who cares? There's no Gangster's Paradise. Um, the use of the song Where Evil Grows, um, I, I don't want to explain where they use it, but it's actually a really effective little moment, and it's memorable, it's surprisingly funny, it's a good little bit, I liked it. Um, the action scenes were also pretty good overall, like, again, nothing all that mind-blowing, but the use of Sonic's powers is pretty neat, um, I like that they do, like, the, they, they have, like, like, this is something that movies with quickster characters have been doing, where everything kind of, like, slows down, and we see how they're moving real time there's this really cool use of it where um not, not to get in too much into detail on it but there's like this bit where they have him running around and they sort of show like i guess in between frames that show him kind of look like he's running like normal but it's just indicate that that's just him going to that one spot over and over and over and over again and i thought that was actually pretty cool um the action scenes again the choreography is handled pretty well there isn't really too much where it felt confusing or annoying to follow so there was like no transformers moments everything felt clean cut and like you could tell what was going on which is always good for a movie like this
that the characters actually prove to be pretty likable. Um, like, like even like characters you wouldn't expect. Um, Sonic, uh, despite I, I brought up earlier, I found his quipping to be a little bit obnoxious, and he's a bit too dorky for my personal kind of idea of Sonic and how I feel like I, I prefer him to be depicted. I found him to be likable and endearing. I like the sort of slight extra bits of depth they add with him, sort of feeling the loneliness and whatnot, uh, which is appreciated. I, I sometimes like as likable as Sonic. It isn't a lot, but I just appreciate that it's there, and I think that it is really a lot of it. Uh, James Marsden's character, Tom, is actually pretty okay, too. Like, he's not, like, a groundbreaking character or anything, but usually the human characters in these CG character meets real-life human movies tend to be kind of annoying and boring, and they don't really end, and the movie focuses a little too much on them. Um, I found like he was in it as much as he needed to be, which is to say he was on screen a lot, but I don't feel like he overtook Sonic. And I felt like he had a good rapport with Sonic, I felt like he himself was a likable character, uh, he was a good character. And James Marsden did a pretty good job, so that was all really good. He's a very, he's kind of a quirky character, I wouldn't say he's particularly realistic, but he's, uh, he's a fun one, I, I feel like he looks pretty good. Um, his wife Maddie, on the other hand, is fine, but I, like I said earlier, I forgot her name. I had to Google it uh, for my notes. Uh, she honestly isn't in the movie much, and her actress, uh, Tika Sumter, I think her name is, she does a good job with what she's given, which uh, isn't a lot, um, because she just doesn't have a lot of time to leave much of an impression. It's not a big deal, but uh, I hope if they make like, a sequel to this, we get a bit longer, because she did not. I guess the same also kind of goes for the character of Agent Stone. It's sort of debatable he's a main character. The actor was good. I liked his rapport with, uh, with Jim Carrey, but he didn't really. Get, he just kind of vanishes too, um, which is weird. Uh, I guess that's also kind of a spoiler, but eh, not really. Uh, I don't think anyone's expecting him to really do anything. Um, but to the shock of no one, though, uh, Jim Carrey as Doctor Robotnik steals the show. That's what everyone's expecting. Uh, he's not my ideal version. I. I He's a bit too comedic. I, I prefer it better when the character has a better balance of serious and comedy. I'm not too fond of when they make him too uber serious. I'm not too fond of when they make him too uber comedic. I don't think this is the most obnoxiously comedic this character's been, but he definitely more towards that. And I think a lot of why I feel that way is that um, at first, I think he relies a bit too much on, I guess, classic Jim Carreyism, which is what I was worried about. I was like, oh, it's just to be Jim Carrey. But as the movie progresses, you can really see him getting into the headspace of the character, and he was really, he really understood it much. Again, it's 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 definitely a, far, a, a very comedic take on the robotic character, but I just appreciate that he didn't just feel like evil Jim Carrey throughout most of it, he did really start to feel like robotic, and by the end of the movie, I felt like, again, not my ideal version of the character, but I feel like he's definitely cemented himself as one of the more memorable I think that needs to be applauded considering this is a robotic competition, I guess you could say that he has.
really uh, quick thoughts on it, uh, just kind of off the cuff. Maybe if I had like a bit more time, I could write just a more like in-depth sort of thoughts and feelings about like, the specific kind of things that they choose. If I wasn't doing any spoiler review, or I guess it's not even really a good like a ramble session, I might be able to get in a bit more detail. But uh, just for, just very simply, this was a good time and a very I think it's a very fun kids movie. I think little kids will get a lot out of this. I think uh, longtime Sonic fans will just be happy that it came out pretty good because um, it, in a lot of respects, it kind of, I don't think it deserved to be as, as good as it did, um, but the team really pulled together and they managed to make something that, well, it's not quite the Sonic movie I pictured as a kid because I, I grew up with the adventure games rather than the more recent games, which is nothing against like, those games except for the Sonic games. Well, Lost World. But, um, which, either way, they've taken a sort of slightly more comedic and more cool direction, uh, which this movie definitely reflects, even more so on the games, I think. Um, I think these, this generation's kids are really gonna get into it. I think long time Sonic fans will be able to appreciate it for what it is. Um, I certainly appreciate it for what it is. It's, again, not, it's not my favorite take on this universe or these characters. It's not my favorite movie. Um, I think two times is enough for me to have seen it. Uh, I think for some people it will be enough. Uh, if you're not either A, a little kid, B, into Sonic the Hedgehog, or C, both, I'm not sure how you feel about the movie. Um, there is some things about it that if I went to more detail, I'm sure I could, uh, I'm sure I could sort of nitpick some things a bit more, like certain plot elements and whatever, like I said, the plot is kind of weak, uh, Sonic's pumping might be a little bit more annoying, I think. I, I don't know if that's just because I'm an older viewer, or whatever, um, but I just found it really these takes on these characters. I was able to appreciate them for what they were. I think that they're perfectly likable. They're not my favorite version, but I think that they're perfectly likable. Um, yeah, it was a good movie uh, overall. Not Nothing amazing. Um, I'd say it was around the same kind of range as the movie Detective Pikachu. I thought it was a bit better than Detective Pikachu, but I don't know how much of that is personal bias. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, I'll probably pick up the DVD when it comes out. I don't think I'm seeing it in theaters again, um, unless I find some other excuse that somebody wants to see it. Yeah, why not? Other than that, the movie sounds good. But, you know, uh, it's a good movie, and uh, it's doing pretty well, and I feel like it deserves to do pretty well. So, uh, kudos to the team, and, uh, like, everyone involved, you all did a pretty bang-up job. Again, not a fantastic movie, but for what it was, I liked it.